this upcoming full moon on March the 28th really brings the energy of inner stillness, of inner calmness. And in today's video, I want to share with you the five key things that you should know about this profound energy so you can really make the most out of this and really tap into this energy of inner stillness and inner calmness. So stay tuned. Hello there beautiful soul, I'm Kay Sanders, transformational coach and divine messenger here to assist awakening souls to really awaken to their power within so they can create more success, abundance and freedom in their life, all while making bigger impact in the world. Now if you're new to this channel, I do want to invite you, please be sure to subscribe. If you are on your spiritual awakening journey, I do want to invite you, please subscribe to my channel so you can get and also hit the notification bell so you can get notified whenever I release new content. Now the key theme for this upcoming full moon on the 28th is really of that inner stillness that inner calmness because where maybe up until this point you were a little worried about what's going on what is going to happen are you on the right path maybe you had all these questions that inner stirring that knowing that more is possible but you didn't really know what's going to happen or what is your path ahead or anything like that and now with this full moon it's really bringing that inner calmness that inner knowing that everything will be all right that you are on your on the right path that maybe even though you're not quite sure what exactly that next step is but you will not feel that that inner dissatisfaction like you know there's more but you don't know you will feel that inner calmness that everything is going to be all right as long as you take that next step everything is going to be all right so that's really the key theme and also the first thing that I would like for you to know about this full moon is that that inner calmness is now unfolding where you don't have to worry anymore because everything just starting to fall in place. You may even realize that where you worried before, now you don't worry as much no more or you just have that inner knowing that everything is going to be all right. Now, the second thing I want you to know about is that with this full moon there, it also brings an opportunity to revisit old grounds, giving you the opportunity to look at what has worked up until this point and what hasn't worked, what is still in alignment and what isn't in alignment any longer. Because now we are all, we're all needed. We're all at being activated. We have been activated to really step into our power, to really step into that path ahead, to really allow us to move forward and do what we're meant to do so I just want you to know that you are very needed now with all these shifts with this new energy period in this this new year and the Korean age you know people like you and like me we are really needed to bring back the light in the world so now you really have this opportunity to really look a little closer what has worked what hasn't worked what does still feel in alignment what isn't and it gives you the opportunity then to also course correct because it's all about that inner alignment like really doing what you feel called to do what feels right instead of looking at things and yeah I think this is the right thing to do and I'm just going to continue pushing through it even though I know it doesn't really feel right now you will have that opportunity to revisit those old grounds so you can then course correct it as necessary or if you feel called to course correct to realign yourself to that path ahead. So this also means that it's very important that you do, do your own inner work, like really tuning in to uncover where are you not in alignment? Where have you allowed doubt and fears to really hold you back from really stepping into your power? So allow yourself to use this really this time, this full moon time, or even leading up to the full moon to really tune in, take some time out each and every day to tune in and ask yourself, where am I misaligned? Where do things don't feel right? Where do things maybe feel a little forced? So it's really important that you do your own inner work so you can really align yourself again to what you're here to do. Now I do want to invite you to check out the video. It's in the description below. It's a light code activation to really help you embrace your path ahead. So if you haven't really been sure about what is that next path or maybe you already have somewhat of an idea but you haven't really allowed yourself to really step into that, check out that video. It will help you clear some of the resistance that you might have and also maybe even awaken that part within you that knows what that path is that you're are meant to walk on so check out that video I think you're going to love it and the third thing that I want you to know is that now you also have the opportunity to connect with that inner sanctuary now this is that part within you that knows all the answers that inner sanctuary of calmness of stillness 
Now, if you can tune into that part within you each and every day and really just become still. Now, I get it. We're often so drawn by doing instead of just allowing ourselves to be. But when you maybe can go into meditation every single day, and it doesn't even necessarily have to be meditation, but just really tuning in, tuning into your heart center. Because that's your inner sanctuary of wholeness, of tranquility. It's kind of like your new normal. That's where your soul resides as well. And if you can connect with that part within you each and every day, then the questions that you have, you will receive answers to. Everything will become more clear because that also, that inner sanctuary should be your place of, that you go to for healing, for clarity, for just a reset as well. So now you also have that profound uh, opportunity to create that inner stillness by reconnecting to that inner sanctuary within. Now, the fourth thing I would like for you to know is that learn how to trust your inner guidance. Now, you hold all the answers. Now, if you tune into that inner sanctuary and you reconnect with soul and allow soul to lead you, then you will get the guidance. But you also need to learn to trust that guidance. It's so easy to go to other people for, for questions, for answers, for guidance, or to look around or read books or whatnot. But you already hold the answers that you're looking for. It's already within you, but it's really tuning in and listening to what is coming up, asking a question and then really stopping to listen, to allow yourself to receive the guidance. And then of course, then trust the guidance and then act upon it. One of the things one of my mentors always taught us is listen, trust and act. These are the most important things that you can do is you want to listen to the guidance because you probably already have been getting guidance left and right. Maybe you are realizing certain things are really joyful to you, but you're not really doing this full time or you're not doing it enough. But you always have instances where you're being put into a situation where you can really tap into that and you start feeling that inner excitement. Now that's a sign too that maybe this is something that you may want to explore a little further. And then even on the opposite as well, let's say you're doing something and every time you're doing that, it just feels so heavy and it just doesn't feel right, but you're just ignoring it, feeling you're just like, ah, oh, it's just one of those days. I'm just going to push through. Well, guess what? That's also that inner guidance, soul knocking on the door saying, look, I don't like this. This doesn't feel right. So when you allow yourself to just stop more often, to really allow yourself to tune in, to open yourself up to receive the guidance and to really trust the guidance. When something doesn't feel right, well, you want to trust it. You want to listen to that. You want to trust what is coming up for you. And then you want to act upon it. Do something different. If you're noticing that it doesn't feel right, that's why going back to the, the second point about revisiting old grounds. This really goes hand in hand. You want to revisit those old grounds to realize where are you misaligned, what feels right, what doesn't feel right, and then trust whatever comes up and then act on that. Act on that by taking those aligned actions, those aligned steps. If you feel that something doesn't feel right anymore, then do something about it. You then have a choice to course correct. But really allow yourself to give yourself the time to just connect within and allow yourself to receive the guidance and of course trust the guidance listen to the guidance trust the guidance and act up on the guidance and acting up on it can be just a very simple step a tiny step it doesn't have to be major leaps but as long as you act up on the guidance that you receive is very important that's also then how you can sharpen your intuition because we're getting intuitive hits all the time but if we're not paying attention to it then we are not aware that we're getting the guidance. So the more you can go inwards, go to your inner sanctuary, and then just allow yourself to receive the guidance, the better it will be. Because then whenever you're not sure what to do, you don't have to go to someone or ask someone like, hey, what do you think I should do? You can just tune in. Okay, how does that feel? Does it feel right? Does it feel wrong? And then you can act up on it. Because you see, the thing is, you know best. You know what's best for you. No one else outside of you can do that because you live within you, right? You live in your body. You know what's best for you. So tune in and allow yourself to receive the guidance. Trust the guidance and then act up on it. And also, I just want to ask you, I mean, if this 
has been valuable for you so far if you, if you like what i've shared with you so far do me a favor hit that like button i would greatly appreciate it and maybe even share it with someone that you know that could benefit from hearing this as well i would definitely greatly greatly appreciate it but now let me tell you about the last final fifth piece that i want you to know about this full moon energy it really brings a great opportunity for additional healing and releasing because you see the thing is in order for us to move forward in order for us to really learn how to listen and trust we often are required to heal a lot of the stuff that is holding us back and lately what has come up for me a lot is and also i've seen with my clients is that a lot of inner child work was needed a lot of past life healing was required as well but a lot of it was really things that they have experienced early on so really in their childhood that really was coming up now for healing so you may too have realized you know maybe you had some memories about what happened in the past you know when you were growing up or anything like that now whenever something comes up i just want you to know is that it's coming up for a reason it's coming up for you to look at it and allow yourself to release it to heal it to let it go because whatever comes to your awareness is now ready to be released that's at least the guidance that i've always got, uh, gotten from my guides and that's what i truly believe in because otherwise if it wouldn't come to your awareness then you would have either already released it or it wouldn't bother you no more or you may not even be ready to release it but whenever you have a memory or things are coming up from the past or emotional things are coming up that's usually a good indicator that now it's time to release it so now with this full moon energy i want to invite you look a little closer what's been going on these last few weeks or even last few months and maybe look at what are some of the things that have been repeating itself like that it kept coming up what were some of the the themes that were coming up this really gives you the opportunity to do some additional healing and releasing because in order to move forward we often need to release a lot of the stuff that we have been holding on to it's really peeling back the layers of an onion now in order for you to really step into your power if you've noticed that maybe you haven't quite done that up until this point in certain areas of your life or maybe all areas of your life maybe you have put other people before your own needs or whatever it is now it's really that opportunity to allow yourself to heal and release whatever needs to be healed and released so you can really step into your power because like i mentioned earlier you're needed you are needed no matter if you are an entrepreneur if you're a healer a light worker or whatnot or even if you're just at the beginning of your spiritual awakening journey it doesn't matter but wherever you are at this point you are right where you're meant to be but moving forward you are needed just you shining your light will affect the collective so allow yourself to do your own healing because you doing your own healing will have a ripple effect as well will impact everyone in your life and that will ripple out even more so i also have a video for you that i want to share with you so if you feel that you want to do some healing some inner healing i do have a video where i talk a little bit more about releasing the past to allow in the news so really powerful video i want to invite you to check that out also link will be in the description below so now these are the five key things that i found were really important for you to know or at least that my guides want me to share with you so now the one thing that i also feel guided to share with you is a little action step now with this full moon energy now you may have already done that before so this may not be this may not be new to you but if you haven't done it i want to invite you allow yourself to create that inner sanctuary you can just close your eyes and just imagine that room whatever it looks like and it could be on a beach it could be an actual room and i want to invite you become creative in your mind decorate that room really make this your inner sanctuary where you will feel just home where you feel so good when you go there and i want to invite you go there every day and even if it's just a few minutes in this inner sanctuary you can allow yourself to heal to release to recharge reset and you can also then call forth your higher self or your soul or if you're working with your guides you can even call them forth and do a little bit of a mastermind where you can ask questions and you receive guidance you will be surprised what can come up when you do this every single day for one it's really a you're connecting yourself with that part within you and you're allowing yourself to really activate your heart center 
this is really important because you want to live more of a heart-centered life, a heart-centered way of being. You want to get out of your head because head is ego territory. We don't want to be there. So drop into your heart and create that inner sanctuary. But here you go. Here you have the five key things for that are really important for you to know about this upcoming full moon on the 28th. I really hope you're going to make the most out of this energy because it is definitely a profound energy of, like I said, the key theme for this is really that inner calmness. So allow yourself to feel that inner calmness. Allow yourself to really tap into that because when you're calm, when you're tapping into that inner stillness, that's where the guidance comes through. That's when the insights comes through. That's when also the divine guidance or the intuitive hits, the downloads, all that good stuff comes through. So if, so if you have been a little bit on the fence of not quite sure of what you're here to do, what that next step is, tap into that inner, inner calmness, that inner stillness, and allow soul to guide you. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this video today. Now be sure to also check out those two videos that I mentioned and also be sure to subscribe to this channel. I would definitely love to support you on your journey moving forward. So thanks for, so much for being here. I will talk to you in the next video. Until then, make an amazingly abundant, successful day. Namaste.